Another set of lights from China, and these were originally advertised in the listing as LED lights. And it was a 4.5 meter warm white 100 LED string fairy Christmas lights, blah blah blah. £2.11, which is extraordinarily cheap. It's cheaper than the normal LED lights. So I thought, let's see what they're like. So they arrived, uh, and it's notable that this listing, it says, this listing was ended by the seller because the item was lost or broken. No, it's probably uh, ended by the seller because when I take them out their crinkly little Christmas bag, they're not actually LED, they're tungsten lamps, which is very retro, very old fashioned, this tiny little controller. And they even come with a, a free bit of a, uh, oop, a free bit of uh, spare wire, which is interesting in its own right. So I'll get this crinkly bag out of the way. They're horrible, those bags, but everything seems to come in it. It also comes with a death adapter for your convenience and possibly uh, one step short of supplying uh, two matchsticks with the wire wrap around them. This is just the most minimalist connector I've really ever seen, I think. It's it's ridiculous. So let's bring in the power adapter, uh, power uh, meter. And I'll say these uh, lights, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get them static, right? Okay, static, but you can see even for tungsten, there's quite a lot of flicker, and I can see that shimmer now, which suggests to me that these are being driven half wave. They're not being sort of, uh, it's not being full wave rectified in here, it's just something simpler. The power when they're all on is 24 watts, which compared to the LEDs is quite monstrous. It's uh, quite a lot. I'm not sure if this will be handling the uh, fact that the, um, it's half wave, if it is half wave. Not sure about that. But um, yes, uh, I fully believe it is 24 watts because they get quite warm in operation as well. So let's uh, take a wee look inside. Now for a start, the box is two-tone plastic. Well, I, think, I don't think it's deliberately two-tone plastic and the lid does not fit uh, properly. Inside, the circuit board appears to be wedged inside. What holds that in place? Oh, right, okay. Two guides here and then two stops. Is there something to poke it in in the top? Yeah, there's a couple of spikes, just push it in so it just squishes together. Oh, that's very minimalist. Let's, uh, I'll give you a close up of this. Okay, well, there's the two typical thyristors you get in these. There's just a single diode after all, it's not a bridge rectifier. There's the capacitor that's associated with this, and these odd looking resistors. One. Oh, I know what they are. They're, oh that's the cheapest of the cheap. Those are like carbon film resistors, but they've not been dipped in the lacquer and given colour codes. So I'm expecting one of those is going to be roughly about a uh, couple of hundred K. So I'm guessing, let's see which one's uh, going from the power side. I guess this one's the one that's doing the power. And it's 150k. And this one's going to be a lot higher because it looks like it's doing the timing. So it's going to be up in the sort of multi meg ohms region. Oh, very high meg ohms region. About two meg ohm. Yeah, that's that's quite a high value, but that's just used for sensing the, the main side of things. So that is very minimalist. The wire, incidentally, is super thin. Uh, it came randomly with that little bit of extra wire in the packaging. And I looked at it through the microscope and I stripped it. And when you look at it, keep in mind how thin this wire is. When you look at the end of it, it looks like this. It's got the four strands right in the middle like that and they, they're tiny it's like they must double up as the fuse I guess they're absolutely minute but if you look at the other end they've somehow managed to move much closer to the actual wall it's very inconsistent it's very cheap I suppose it's a miracle that they can even get wire made with such thin cores but ugh. so um yes 
interesting, another set that, that it's quite interesting to take to bits, but I don't think I'll be using them, not least because they're incredibly inefficient, uh, being the old tungsten ones and the, the modern warm white ones can look quite just as good, but also because they shimmer annoyingly, more so than the LED, um, and uh, and it's just the wiring is just like, I mean, this plug is just a miracle in its own right. It's uh, really impressive. So, yes, interesting nonetheless.